achieving the highest quality for a final product presentation is very much connected not only to modeling capabilities, but also having effective lighting and the finally through the process of baking. This can transform an object representation into a stunning 3D digital twin. Let's begin by setting up the scene with a basic environment light. This type of lighting in 3D provides a natural light source and casts shadows, making the scene appear more lifelike. To do this, go to the environment library and select the environment light that best suits your needs. Then, adjust the intensity and rotation to your liking. There are additional settings available, but for now, let's leave them at their default values. In the next step, we will add a light source. From the top menu, add a rectangle light. Rectangle light offers a balance of precise direction and spread of light. Position, rotate, and scale the light to how you like it. Set the intensity to 100. Remember, since we will be baking the light map, shadows are not necessary as they will be calculated during the baking process. The difference in quality is already apparent. Now, let's move on to the baking process. At the bottom of the canvas, open the light map preview mode. This will give you a quick visual representation of how the light map will bake. Switch back to the textured mode. Select all the objects in the scene that you want to bake. In the Properties menu, you will find two baking options, Ambient Occlusion and Light Map. Both options help to make 3D scenes appear more realistic, with Baked Ambient Occlusion focusing on shadows and Baked Light Maps focusing on lighting. We will start with baking the Light Map. A Light Map is a texture that stores lighting information for a 3D scene, making it more realistic and improving renderer performance. UV0 is the primary set of UV coordinates for the main texture, while UV1 is used for ambient occlusion and light map. We will get into this topic in the next tutorial focusing on advanced baking techniques. Choose the resolution that works best for you, but you can also set it to auto. This will automatically determine the recommended resolution for each object. The quality setting indicates the number of samples used to render the scene. Draft is 16 samples, medium is 256, and high is 1024. By selecting a custom option, you can set a custom number of samples. For this scene, choose high quality. Leave the denoise option on, as this refers to the process of removing or reducing any noise or artifacts in the rendered image. Finally, click the bake button to start the baking process. This may take a few minutes depending on the size of the scene and textures. Open the preview mode and inspect the shadows. You will see that the shadows are now far more realistic compared to their original state. Now, let's move on to baking ambient occlusion. Again, select all the objects in the scene. Click on ambient occlusion to open its settings menu. Ambient occlusion adds depth and realism to a 3D scene by simulating the way shadows are cast in areas where light doesn't directly reach, creating a more natural look. The settings are the same as those for baking light maps. Click on the bake button to start the process. After the baking is complete, open the preview mode and check if everything was baked correctly. When objects are selected, you can enable or disable either the ambient occlusion or the light map. Keep in mind that if you use both, the size of the project will increase, so it is important to consider using only one of them to avoid this increase. Let's take a look at the difference between the two.
Finally, let's add some effects. In the adjustment settings, you can adjust factors such as saturation, contrast, and exposure. A crucial step is to select tone mapping. Tone mapping is a filter used to compress the range of an image's brightness values, which helps to preserve details and highlights in the image while making the overall image more realistic and visually appealing. Choose the ACES preset. Next, we will add a reflection effect to the scene. A reflection effect creates a mirror-like appearance on reflective surfaces. The sample count determines the overall quality of the reflections, but it also decreases performance. With these steps, we have greatly improved the visual quality of the scene. In the next tutorial, we will dive a bit deeper and show you how to bake light for a scene with animations and interaction. Thanks for watching.